Hello my friends, it is a brisk 24 degrees and we are here in Statesville, North Carolina. The sun is very bright and uh, yeah, let's go walk around and find out what Statesville is all about. So right here we have the Fourth Creek Meeting House. Presbyterian Church was established here in 1750, but moved here, this location, it looks like in 1756. Uh, services be, uh, began in 1778 by Reverend James Hall. Let's look around the front here. And here is the front of the Presbyterian Church, the old meeting house. I'm sure this is the much newer version here <laughs> of where the uh, original church used to be i love the the pillars and the brickwork and uh not sure when this was built there's a plaque up front let's go check it out and here's another placard here it looks like this one was placed by the colonial dames of america in 1950 so that is probably about right um could be around 1950 but here uh it says old fourth creek meeting house first colonial church in iredell county erected near this spot in 1757 and right across from the church is this old cemetery. I love the old stone wall here. This is really cool. Yeah, I love old cemeteries. Got a security camera. Let's see, no trespassing from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. So we're good. We can go inside. Curious to, to what some of these dates are on some of these tombstones. I just like coming here at nighttime. So let's see here yeah some of these are faded out so might not be able to make out some of these well, here's one 1808 to 1866 nesbit yeah i'm trying i'm sure there's some in here that are 17 something easily but i love these beautiful old tombstones walk over here see if we can make this out I love doing the research on some of these individuals here too. Yeah, some of these are really pretty pretty bad shape. So, but um, let's see, 1819 there, 1835 right here. Hey buddy, a little squirrel there running around the cemetery. But I just love the trees. Yeah, you got the oaks. Got some of the evergreens here. These big boys here. I'm not sure. I guess it's a cedar, maybe. Kind of looks like one. And uh, this one had a new one in place here. Right here. Sea Graves. 1841 to 1880 right here. So to kind of tell what that marker there used to say. But yeah. The old cemetery. And here's a placard. Old Fourth Creek Burying Ground. 1756 to 1888 there you go so it, it dates back pretty good and a lot of the buildings here a lot of these homes up ahead we're gonna go see are you know some are 19th early 20th century homes been here a long time since the victorian period so you'll see a lot of that type of construction here in these homes they're very nice look at this iron fence here oh that's nice love that love these old black iron picket fences here so up here show you this house right up here i saw from the distance i thought it was pretty cool um really nice homes here a lot of them have been uh, refurbished look at this that is amazing check out that dome up there too i love the scaling too of the wood on the side there love that beautiful front porch so a lot of homes near downtown are like this we'll go down this way and check some of these out yeah these huge front porches <laughs> i love them just come out here during the summertime with your rocking chair have a big pitcher of iced tea 
or come out in the morning with a hot, hot cup of coffee sit on your big front porch but yeah all there's tons of these homes like this all through the downtown area really unique colors color schemes like this one here it almost like it might be empty and it looks like some of these may have been turned into like a duplex or uh, multiple fam family living and up ahead is the Mitchell Community College looks like a really nice campus too I love I'll, again I love the trees in the area and over here is this magnificent United Methodist Church place is huge look at that stained glass over there too so yeah this is Broad Street United Methodist Church it's right in front of Mitchell Community College and again I saw this here this magnificent home here look how big that is and check out the uh, the steeple up there on the top that is so awesome yeah these homes here are just amazing that'd be a cool bed and breakfast too but that is huge again the front porch and then over here you've got this one too these are just magnificent homes that have been completely restored and they're right near the school uh, looks like they've done a lot to this one here they've added all the two-car garage looks like a guest home in the back really nice pan around here this is the other side of the uh, church the methodist church and we're gonna head back over to main street over here so i just went inside the columbian bakery and restaurant here and got me a hot piping cappuccino show you my cappuccino there it is there and i'm ready to gulp that down it's still 26 degrees yeah gotta have a coffee or cappuccino oh man that is good steam coming up look at that good stuff so I do like how they have the outside seating areas here too that you come out have your coffee have lunch breakfast smoke good smoke because <laughs> you get the high life smoke shop right here and we're gonna head this way downtown there's your smoke shop right there high life <laughs> so if you need to get your smoke on this building here looks pretty new not old at all but as you pan over here these have a lot of character yeah have some age to it now you can also come get your coffee or beer whatever you want your favorite beverage and sit down and get a tattoo right here um head down this way this looks like a newer building here united states post office yeah there's the post office right there nice heading down this way oh wow i like this one over here i think it says roots outdoor provision company it looks like they're open so they're open pretty early i love the architecture looks like it's still in the works uh, from what i can tell uh i don't think upstairs looks like it's used i love the big windows up there Got your Merle Norman. You got a boutique there. Marty's. It's like a bar, pub there. Right next door. All right. We're going to head further downtown. It's historic Statesville. So check this building out. This is awesome. A little bit closer view of it. Love all the details. The molding. Around the uh, trim there. Those little uh, asterisk flower symbols there on the side just little details like that we really bring it out i mean heck even the chip paint pops out looks pretty cool i wanted you to see this magnificent coca-cola advertisement drink coca-cola delicious and refreshing welcome to historic statesville love that so when you're in downtown statesville smithy's must have been like a department store long ago looks like it's now a, a church gathering area statesville upper room ministries but yeah you're going to see a lot of storefronts 
that were you know dating back to the 40s and 30s and 50s you know kind of a mixture of all different uh 20th century mid 20th century little stores things like that so you can see the big displays sweet things bakery and cafe i'm hoping i guess they're they're, they're some of these are victims of covid i'm sure or so or they've just decided to move i'm not sure but love the storefront here very nice i mean it looks like they're still active though just not open just yet um, but this th this downtown Statesville has a bunch of opportunities for retail and also because they're re revitalizing this area quite a bit and this is a uh, Carolina Mountain Sport cool store here like I said see the the storefronts are just awesome you know that old school department store look to them got wine maestro here fine wines and craft beer looks like they don't open till noon lunch and then you got uh and this has probably always been a shoe store <laughs> it's the appropriate uh, storefront for sure for a shoe store let's see what we got here light side tattoo and piercings yeah i just love the old storefronts and displays so i got a fire truck coming up Okay, not coming down here, so that's good. Loud. Look over here. Love these uh, storefronts here. You can tell they date back. Some of these date back to the 20s. Heck, some might even date back to uh, the turn of the century. The you know going from the 19th century to the 20th century. So early 1900s, easily just love that up there see that pink building i don't know if you can see it it's lake mountain coffee so we do have coffee shops going on i got my cappuccino i'm happy with but i love the details of uh the top there see on the on the roof there the overhang cool sculptures and stuff like that in the stone all the way to the, the end of the street right here yeah i just love that Love the clock up there too. Kind of uh, integrated into the stone, the brick. The clock's working. The time is correct. It's like uh, 9.45, 9.50. So yeah, that's right. So this, the clock still works. It's like a radio station. W-A-M-E radio at the bottom there of that building. Looks like this is the main. Yeah, Broad Street is right here. Shannon Street meet so this is like the main square right here it's nicely done too I like the uh, stonework and the plants did a great job this is Center Street going south so we're gonna go this way and see what they have down this uh, part of the road of downtown Statesville and this building was actually built 1895 it's the Wallace building it is now Statesville Jewelry and Loan. Pretty much a pawn shop now. <laughs> it is what it is. But it's still thriving and still alive. But now it's a pawn shop. But this is the Wallace Building. It's uh, part of the uh, Deeds of Historic Sites. And uh, built in 1895. Looks like this may have been a bank at one time. It's uh, Carolina Landmark uh, Realty now. And I uh, love the pillars in the front here. But I wanted to kind of show you over here. It looks like this whole backside here uh, of the side of this little alley here is destined to be more retail along here. I'll walk over here. It's like a little bistro restaurant going on here. So it's kind of a side street. Yeah, it's a cafe bistro. Very nice. Let's see what this uh, this little alleyway is here if they've done anything with it oh check out the uh, the brick exposed there it's neat so right now it is just that it's just an alleyway nothing yet but it looks like there's a lot of potential right along here for more retail all along this street and over here this building's being redone here here it looks like the old city hall or something let's go out go around front and we'll see what this building is so yeah this whole building here is the old iredell county government center Probably getting a lot of stuff redone uh, to it as far as in the front there 
because I've got the whole front kind of torn up right here. And you get some rocking chairs out front and you just relax with your coffee or your lunch. And we're going to head down this way. There's an old bank right here. This one's been gutted out. Looks like this is about to be transformed into something. That's probably going to be happening a lot. Oh, look at the old ceiling. Check that out. It's peeling away, but it looks like, yeah, the old tin ceiling there. The old fan sitting there, ceiling fan. That is pretty cool. So I'm sure they're going to take all that down or repurpose it. It'd be kind of cool if they did. That old ceiling, uh, tin ceiling there. That's pretty cool. Got this real nice bike store here. First Flight Bicycles, Statesville. Like their uh, display up front here. All kinds of cool bikes. Road bikes, mountain bikes, cruising bikes, dirt bikes, kid bikes. All kinds of different ones here. And all your accessories also. You can see me in the window. <laughs> but, yeah. There you go, up there. Bikes. That's neat with the fork up there. This is 220 Cafe. Got to pan down. Cool building. Looks like somebody might be might be living up there too. And they see Saturday. They open at noon for lunch. That's 220 Cafe. Very nice. Got some outside uh, seating out here this building here looks like it may have been a hotel at one time maybe i could be wrong oh, it goes way over there too maybe it maybe it was at one time and they turn it retail down here too yeah let's see what this building is all about here's the inside it sure does look like a hotel doesn't it looks like it may have been on here it says heritage restaurant so i'm wondering if it was a hotel slash restaurant down here too yep this was the vance hotel circa 1922 it's also established as a historic site go over here look how grand the lobby way was i mean it's still grand <laughs> that is so nice the pillars hopefully they're going to do something with this soon and maybe turn it back into a hotel that'd be kind of cool so this is probably where you entered with your car get your luggage out see the the overhang there historic vance hotel so there's a parking deck up here so maybe this was the actual entryway um to the hotel and then you just walked the other side to get on the main street but i love the old uh font there the old historic vance hotel signage right there this must have been the offices along here at one time that is so awesome and right here is the Statesville Civic Center. I'll go over here. This is more of the hotel on the other side. Yeah. Vance Hotel. And right across from Vance Hotel is the old city hall. Just love. I've always loved this structure. The architecture is beautiful. And if you look around the trim up top there, all the detailing and the domes at the top. It's just a magnificent structure for its time. And I'll check the historic plaque there and see when it was built. It's got to be 18-something for sure. And there's the city hall sign there. Just the stonework, the masonry is just beautiful with all the detailing along here. There's the main entryway here. Grand entryway to city hall. See, even just little things like this. I love this right here just the detailing wow kind of a scallop look to it all these arches here and the windows and go down here there's a little plaque down here we'll see what it says when it was built it should 1892 there you go very nice so it was also the u.s post office and federal building so yep city hall and this is called the american renaissance school and as you can see 
It must have been a department store at one time, ages ago. It's got that very department store feel to it. Old Woolworths or something like that. And then it's kind of cool because you have this mixture of uh, architecture in there. Kind of a late 50s, early 60s, 60s look to it here. So, been looking for plaques too. I like to see those kind of express, you know, kind of showing the history when these certain buildings were built. And there's a little uh, real estate office there. Lake Norman Realty. Uh, yeah, so you get a, kind of a mixture of different uh, periods of architecture uh, in downtown. Another pawn shop. Was a pawn shop. <laughs> um, yeah, you get, get a few of those downtown. Got the Andrea's Ice Cream and Sweet Shop. Looks like this structure here has been around a while as well. Got an Italian restaurant here. Mezzaluna. Mezzaluna. Italian restaurant here. Italian and seafood. And here's another. Now this one has a very interesting look to it. 15, sorry, 115 Center Street Plaza. So that, that looks, that looks original right there for sure. Um, got a handful of little shops here now. So I guess it was a handful of shops for a long time. Center Street Plaza. Got a couple things in there. Back in there in the back. Wooten Jewelers. Get that old sign. Check that out. And it still is. Wooten Jewelers. Still going on. That's been around for, for a long time right there. You got some classic vintage Santa Clauses on display. Got some more little Christmas shop here. A little Christmas village right there in the window. A little Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. So we will continue this way. So check out this building here. Check those windows out in the molding. Yeah, I just love the old uh, structure. So Billy, the owner of Whammy Radio, and Whammy's been around a long time too, is uh, both his stations, 92 point nine fm and 5 50 a.m they do live music in here too this is right in downtown statesville check out his setup here so he does uh, a little bit of talk stuff too he gets action here so they do some sports stuff as well but you can come in here enjoy the music he's got this little table set up here a lot of great history but billy he's out there working he um owns the station and uh just love this little area here that you just come in, enjoy some live music. Here's some old historic pictures of downtown Statesville. There's the clock right there. Check that out. That's pretty cool. But yeah, there's Billy here. Hey, hey Billy. Hey, how are you? Need to come by and see Billy's place again. He's got live music. Yeah. Got this wonderful setup. It is nice and warm in here too, <laughs> as opposed to our 26 degrees outside. So. This is his setup, 92.9 WAME FM and 550 AM. So check out his station. So that was really cool talking to Billy and see the inside of uh, his radio station. It's very quaint and very personable too because when you have the live music, you're actually right near the artist on stage. Yeah, that was really nice of him to have us come in there and film the inside of his radio station. So I want to get a shot of this wall here with these cool paintings on the side. And then you got a cool picture of the old downtown Statesville from long ago. Looks like it's probably about 1920s, early 20s right there. Yeah, look at all these uh, cool pictures along here. And we're going to cover this place right here. It's uh, Fort Dobbs right here. It was built during the French and Indian War. And it's right here in Statesville. We'll definitely cover that soon. And uh, we're continuing down the street, checking out more of the uh, stores along here and some of the architecture. And uh, check this guy out here, Western Work Boots. Uh, that's pretty cool there. 
love that again the architecture is just wonderful i love seeing these old buildings look at the size of that boot nothing's huge a size 14 um i'll head down this way checking out all these cool storefronts old downtown statesville check this water fountain out very cool it's a little short for me great for kids but also awesome for your dog so you have a little bowl there too for your dog that uh, when you're walking down the street deer especially on a hot day and this is groucho's deli since 1941 right here and you got some other retail along here got the new york styles men's and boys fashions got the organic sage organic hair studio and you got hitch boutique that's a cute name for your wedding needs right there but i love these here check out the detail at the top there love the molding the details the woodwork pan down here get broad street burger company along here and again all on the sidewalks they have a really nice seating area so you can come outside and eat your food and uh today probably wouldn't be a good idea it's uh about 30 degrees so it's a little chilly so when you're looking at these buildings too check out these the detailing on here these little accents so you gotta look for those things that's what really makes uh these buildings pop out the little accents like that there's a plaque down here too but i can't really make it out i was trying to make it out and it looks like that probably will be the builders maybe not quite sure what that is uh something worker yeah i can't make that out works something works so some sort of metal works i'm sure that's what that is kind of like with the detail stuff like that who actually the company who actually did all this different uh detailing on the side of these buildings and it's also little things like this check out the old mailbox that thing's probably been there for ages got the little pony express looking uh, emblem on there too that's pretty cool so you got two more over here so these were the business's uh, mailboxes at one time they're still there those things look like they're in great shape too and as you head down this way there's the red buffalo brewing company all kinds of swag all through here check it out it's awesome halloween hobble I wonder if that was a t-shirt because that's pretty that's pretty cool graphics right there looks like it is looks like an iron on or something but uh this is a uh, buffalo red buffalo brewing company not open just yet got more of the store here there's the old uh shoe store sign uh forheim shoes pretty cool and sweet things bakery i don't think they're making sweet things anymore but again i love the storefront very nice and this is the montgomery building i was wondering since it's called montgomery building i wonder if that's anything to do with montgomery ward maybe it was a department store here at one time but look at the details check out the grecian god up there grecian goddess that's very cool just love the tile work too it's beautiful now this building here next to it looks like it was kind of built later like kind of the blend in to the uh, structure yeah that looks, that looks a lot newer so you don't get the same kind of details yeah some of the old architecture and we're going to cross right here and see what this is over here before i cross i want to get that uh, a good shot of this building because it's just beautiful uh structure old brick and i love the arches over the windows um down the bottom there on the right is smoking southern cantina i love their uh emblem the skull that looks pretty cool but it looks like most of that is because it kind of goes under the green awning too is smoking southern cantina it's very convenient for the statesville chambers of commerce to be right next door to the smoking southern cantina so if you get a long meeting going on there and you just need a drink you get the uh convenience 
of the cantina right next door. Here's my shadow. Sun is bright. It's still early morning. Here anyway. So there you go. Please use main door. And what I'll do is um let's see if I can try to post some pictures of the inside of the Southern Cantina. Because it doesn't look like they're open right now, but it looks so cool outside. Then Twisted Oak American Bar and Grill. So you get two things going on here. Yeah, there you go. So right next door to the uh, smoking cantina there, Southern Cantina, is the Twisted Oak American Bar and Grill. So you get some, uh, they have a uh, fireplace outside, and there's the entryway there. Love the lights too. This is probably really cool at nighttime. Very nice. And uh, I'm gonna check this out. Looks like something called un is it unwind bar and eatery. So you got a, another place on the other side. So I'll check this building out too. It looks like kind of an old ironworks building, like a little foundry or something. Yeah, I love that. That's pretty cool looking. So right behind, yeah, right, right where we were a minute ago is Unwind Bar and Eatery. I love the, the corkscrew right there. So perhaps it is a wine tasting place. So, and here's, it looks like, yeah, it's another entryway to Twisted Oak. So you've got the uh, Unwind Bar and Eatery right next to the Twisted Oak entry right here. So, and you got plenty of parking over here. And that's kind of where we started with the Presbyterian Church over there so on the back side you've got that but we're gonna go back around we'll continue come down the other side there on the main street again the old brick i just love the old brick <laughs> it's just me i just love the weather weathered look to it just you know it's been around for over 100 years easily so this is so cool sometimes the back side of something is really cool looking Oh, check this old sign out right here, too. The Black Angus Grill. Down this old alleyway. We'll walk down here, but look at that. The Black Angus Grill. So, a little doorway here. So, but that is awesome. Very cool. I, you see, I like little finds like that. When you see these old signs of a, a restaurant that probably was here ages ago. That is so awesome. And this is Laster and Laster Attorneys at Law. This building is registered in the historic sites. It was built 1890, was the T. Ross Alexander Company at one time. That's pretty cool. Kind of gives you that uh, Mr. Scrooge office <laughs> site. <laughs> like, this is where Mr. Scrooge would work, you know, this was his company. Mr. Scrooge and Marley. And this is the James Iredell building, but it was also called Miller's Annex and it was built in 1916. And this is the building, building I was telling you that at one time was the radio station. And here's the alleyway with this walkway here. So this must have been some sort of a factory or something at one time, eons ago. Because a lot of times you'll see this where they're transporting goods across each building that they're making certain stuff or producing certain things and they would have like a warehouse and then the manufacturing part so i showed you that little crosswalk that looks like it was a manufacturing thing at one time so this building was built in 1885 called miller block so that kind of tells you right there it must have been some sort of manufacturing at one time done within the building itself so this building here dates back to 1885 and look at the details it says law office, so I'm guessing it is. Yep. James Melroy III. So that's pretty neat. And look at over the windows, those little awnings, the detail. That is just beautiful. And of course, the old brick. Look how huge these windows are, too. Pretty massive. Get another angle here at the front of the building of the Miller block here. Check that out. Looks like yours truly boutique it's not open anymore well the law office is still there and just look at the detailing of the woodwork and the molding that is just beautiful i love the colors too the blue and the gold really pops out
kind of walk along here kind of show you some of the storefronts so irish pub there opened up 2003 olaney's bar and grill there's the lake mountain coffee right here that's pretty neat it's got like balconies at the top too and the inside really nice look at this old storefront here an old organ too that's pretty cool sometimes down on here they'll tell you what uh this used to be you can barely make it out on the video but it says diana so i need to look up what that was but you get the d i a n a so diana was the name of this i guess it was a store or a department store at one time called diana's that's pretty wild but yeah i was checking out this organ over here wow that's really nice and this is the irish pub delaney's irish pub and again if you look down the storefront that used to be this was marion's at one time so diana diana and marion were, were neighbors so yeah so these girls got it made back in the day so maybe they were clothing stores i don't know i don't think they were hardware stores i don't know if they call it the hardware store diana and there you go you get the uh taco taco tinto does that sound right but uh it looks like it's it probably a good mexican restaurant right there lunch dinner and takeout and again oh check those out uh, kind of the flower buds there on the top that's pretty neat and you see the old signage used to be right here on both the buildings that's diana's building there and then you see the the holes where the old signage used to be at one time very nice and also here too you can see the, the holes where the signage used to be on there so I had a real nice talk to the owner of uh, Delaney's and uh, he was telling me this right here is added later and so it was Marion's and Diana's and uh, the brick that's here was the same as underneath all this fascia here so he said yeah it was uh, kind of a shame that that was covered up but it is what it is and uh, he did some work to it recently but um but yeah that was all brick just like this one next door some more storefronts here and again when you're walking in uh downtown statesville be sure to check out uh like lowenstein and company right right here you can do some research of what it used to be what lowenstein was so this was built in 1885 so you'll see these along the walls i like showing these to you too now it's an art gallery uh fine art lee dillinger looks like his artwork so yeah these 1885 this whole building here was built back in the day so yeah look for those historic markers too and then so it looks like here a movie was filmed called the boneyard in statesville uh, back in 1989 ed nelson was in it deborah rose norman fell so here's some of the actors yeah that's pretty cool oh look phyllis diller and uh i'm guessing this jewelry store here was in the movie the boneyard that's pretty cool if they get it marked and everything and they've got another cool bike shop here check out that architecture that's pretty cool um but it's crossroads cycling company so they have all kinds of cool different uh bikes there got trek there and i'm sure they have other brands but uh and then you've got a cool sub express here i'm sure there's some history to this building this looks pretty cool and i'm actually getting hungry so i might have to uh, grab something to eat so i decided to grab a sub here at sub express right off of main street starving so check that out so if you want a good sub looks like this is going to be the place you want to come to so that was kind of cool to see that plaque they filmed i think most all of boneyard here in statesville with uh phyllis diller so evidently it's about she transforms into this weird creature like a big standard pool or something like that so yeah check the picture out so yeah that's phyllis diller <laughs> so i vaguely remember that being filmed here and that was back in 89 so that was uh pretty cool seeing that so this is pretty cool here it's um williamson it's the name of this uh statue it's of a horse and was done by jonathan bone for the city of statesville and uh check them out it's all is made of all kinds of cool looking it's like farm equipment stuff like that you got the scythe you got the shovels 
Uh, I'm kind of panning around. Let me get her over here and get a better view of it because the sun's kind of bright, bright. So here we go. Williamson. There he is there. The horse. Stands proudly in downtown Statesville. So I wanted to thank everybody for joining me on this little trip to Statesville, North Carolina. It's what I call a big little town because you've got a, all kinds of cool stuff to do here in such a small town. You've got like kind of a big city feel too at the same time without the tall buildings, you know. So you've got a lot of modern art here as well um, and it's growing. you got coffee shops, quaint little restaurants high-end restaurants with some good food too and if you check the description i'll have all the information of the different restaurants galleries stuff like that different shops and uh, also some of the history i'll have some links to some of the history of statesville and we are going to do dobbs fort dobbs we're going to visit that soon and like i said before it was built during the french and indian war and it's just right outside of statesville and it's not it's not far from downtown it's probably about 10 15 minute drive not far away so we will cover that really soon so again thank you for joining me on this little excursion to statesville please like subscribe we have more stuff coming up more small towns like this and uh kind of show you its history the architecture which is beautiful brings you kind of back in time um i'm happy that they are conserving these and you know restoring these buildings so it's awesome. Well, you guys take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.